It has been a violent weekend as the city deals with a staggering number of shootings. 102 people were shot in Chicago over the Father's Day weekend between Friday evening and 5 o'clock this morning. 13 were killed, including at least four children. Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown suggests a way to curb crime in the city. We need violent felons to stay in jail longer. And we need improvements to the home monitoring. Families of these victims have a different message than the police superintendent. CBS 2's Chris Ty reports from the west side where a vigil is planned for some of the youngest victims. The mother of a 13 year old killed this weekend on the west side says children just are not safe in their own homes anymore in Chicago. A vigil slated for late today to remember her life and that of a three year old boy who was shot and killed in the back seat of his father's car. She was showing me this dance called TikTok. She died dancing. 13 years old, dreams of becoming an attorney dashed when the bullet that pierced through this window went through the family television, striking Amari A. Jones in the neck. The last thought that I have of my baby is her reaching out in blood gassing out her neck. LaWanda Jones says she joined a club this weekend she never wanted membership to. Don't nobody want to be a member of burying a child. It's supposed to be us, them burying us, not us burying them. The bullet went through a window where a Chicago Lives Matter sign hung and still hangs. They talking about the police killing, killing our senior, the citizens. They killing each other off. Our kids are not safe no more, period. You can't sit on the porch. You can't even be in your own house. You're getting killed. She was the recipient of a call from the mayor this weekend and the author of a message to other parents whose children lost their lives on this deadly Father's Day weekend in Chicago. To the other parents whose kids got shot, my heart goes out to them too. Because don't nobody know what it's like in chair, you in these shoots to lose a child. You might sympathize with us, but you ain't gonna feel the pain till it actually happened. And she is calling on the person who shot and killed her daughter this weekend to turn themselves in. She says the idea of burying her own daughter, often just too terrible to even bear. On the West Side, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. And Jones also lost an nephew to gun violence a year ago, just three blocks from where her daughter was killed this weekend.